And with 2021 in full swing, it's time to talk about the color predicted to take over the world of fashion. The Pantone Color Institute, the holy grail behind color trend forecasting, has unveiled their official selection of the color to take the year by storm. And Nick is here to give us the do's and don'ts to getting it right. Hey, Nick, welcome to City Line. Uh, it is so good to be with you. I am bumping and grinding. I'm at Thorne at Twerk. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you for having me, Tracy. I you don't want to see the twerk. No, I can't wait until you're in studio and we can both do the twerk. That'll be a time. But let's talk about these colors. So we have not one, but two colors expected to dominate global fashion this year, right? You are absolutely correct, Tracy. It's only the second time in Pentone's 20-year tenure that two colors have been chosen. Are you ready, Canada? I am unveiling before you. It's a huge moment for all of us. Here we are. The colors for 2021 are illuminating Woo! and ultimate gray. Okay. Pop in, right? Yeah. Absolutely pop in. Now, Tracy, there's a beautiful psychology behind how Pantone actually chooses the colors and why they choose it. So I think we can all agree 2020 was a poopy year. Can I say that? <laughs> you can say that. A little bit. <laughs> so they wanted to set the record straight for 2021. They chose Ultimate Grey because it's calming. It's about stability and foundation. They wanted to pair it with something ethereal, bright, positivity. And that's why they chose the two in tandem together. And one more thing, really interesting. How do they pick the colors slated to take over the world? For an entire year. Well, they have trend spotters, Tracy, in every corner of the globe. I'm talking Paris, Tokyo, Toronto, the States, everywhere on the ground, seeing what colors are in the general zeitgeist. What colors are people talking about in the world of design, whether it's decor, furniture, architecture, fashion, beauty. And these two are on everybody's on the tips of their tongues. It's incredible. These two. Okay, that is very interesting. So will these two colors be heating up the runways and dominating clothing stores and our Insta feeds? And if so, can you help us break down each one individually? <laughs> Absolutely. And what's really interesting about these tones, they're not the easiest to wear, Tracy. I'm going to give it to you 100 because she yeah. always do. Um, but some, some good solace in that we've seen a lot of these colors being used already in the latter half of 2020. And I'm talking the spring, summer 2021 runway shows in Paris, Milan, and New York. Think ultimate gray. We saw it all over Balmain. We saw huge stars already rocking this color in January of 2020. I'm talking Ariana Grande at the Grammys. So we saw some really big stars utilize the colors for illuminating as well. Huge on the runways, but more of accent yellow. So I'm talking accessories, bags, footwear. We saw it on the runways of Etro, Italian fashion house, Miu Miu, Prada, one of my favorites. And we saw stars like Miss Kate Blanchett. Mm, take a moment for her style goddess extraordinaire <laughs> rocking the trend. So we are seeing it. So now we have the context. How do we use <laughs> these colors for our own wardrobes? Because they're a little tricky. Would you imagine if I just said, actually, no, I'm done. That's it. Do it yourself. <laughs> no, there are absolutely surefire ways. <laughs> just, just bye. Thank you so much. There are. So, Tracy, I'm putting all of these looks in the context of tonal wear. So, tonal wear means exactly that using tones of the same hue from top to toe. It's tonal, aka monochromatic. They're basically synonyms. So, gray can be a really drowning out color, right? It can be very mm -hmm. drab when worn from head to toe. So, you really have to think about the details. It's about fabrication. It's about beautiful details like pleated sleeves, balloon sleeves, adding that instant drama. So I've paired tonal gray top to bottom, but I've thought outside the box. Instead of doing a drab, plain cotton cardigan, we're using wools, heavy wools, so you can actually see the texture with these diamante buttons, crystals giving accent. Pleated balloon sleeve, again, thinking how can we elevate from just a standard gray tee? And then metallics. I mean, metallics are a great way to up the ante with tonal gray because it looks like three or four different colors at one go. I think a really interesting point about tonal gray as well, Tracy, is that you want to think about complexion, right? So ultimate gray for the season is great on fairer skinned and lighter haired people. Think natural blonde, strawberry blonde, Miss Lindsay Lohan, if you remember her. If you're more in the olive skin tones with those Mediterranean hues, I would go for something lighter to offset. And girl, if you are that Nubian princess, you got that African queendom going, you've hit the genetic lottery. You can do no wrong. You can do both. I think, again, thinking about illuminating, Tracy, again, it's about tonal. So top to toe, same hue. However, we're thinking about 
proportion differentiation. We're thinking, how can we add drama and vitality? So again, think outside the box. Instead of a plain cotton roll neck, do a heavy cable knit jumper texture. I've also paired this with a maxi dress underneath. So you're getting layers, you're getting proportions, and this heavy knit scarf. Again, it's really about playing with the details and figuring out how to elevate the look. And when in doubt, Tracy, with tonal, it can be it can be a lot, right? It's, it's a look. It's a look. And I know a lot of people aren't comfortable quite yet. So an easy way to bring some neutrality to your tonal look is integrate some whites. Either white or black instantly cuts down the look and gives it a bit more, a bit more wearability. Thank you for that.